The U.S. Army's vision for the future of battlefield mobility has moved one step closer to reality as the Bell MV-75 tilt rotor underwent a pivotal special user evaluation at Redstone Arsenal, Alabama. This hands-on assessment placed Army aviators in the cockpit to test the aircraft under realistic operational conditions, further advancing its path toward frontline deployment as the successor to the iconic UH-60 Black Hawk. Purpose-built to support emerging military doctrines emphasizing dispersed, high-tempo operations across expansive battlefields, the MV-75 is engineered with the Indo-Pacific and European theaters in mind. Its capabilities are central to the Army's new long-range air assault, L-2A-2, strategy, which prioritizes deep penetration and rapid maneuvering across contested environments. Derived from the Bell V-280 Valor, the MV-75 combines the vertical lift of a helicopter with the speed and range of a fixed-wing aircraft. With cruise speeds topping 280 knots and an operational range exceeding 900 nautical miles, it introduces a new era of mobility for Army aviation. Built with next-generation composite materials for enhanced durability and reduced weight, it also incorporates a digital fly-by-wire control system to improve precision and reduce pilot workload. During recent evaluations, the aircraft was subjected to rigorous simulated combat missions, including complex air assault scenarios and operations in contested airspace. Army crews utilized advanced training simulators to assess the aircraft's tactical viability, cockpit layout, and mission integration, ensuring it meets the needs of modern warfighters. Unlike previous helicopter acquisition efforts, such as the decades-long development of the Black Hawk, the MV-75 is moving forward under a fast-track schedule. Since Bell won the FLRA contract in 2022, development has progressed rapidly, building on years of data and flight testing from the Joint Multirole Technology Demonstrator JMRTD, program. The Army plans to have prototype units in production by 2027, with an initial deployment to the 101st Airborne Division slated for 2030. When benchmarked against current platforms like the UH-60M Black Hawk, or international models such as the NH-90 and AW-149, the MV-75 offers superior performance in nearly every category. Its tilt-rotor design allows for rapid deployment over vast distances without the need for intermediate refueling, giving commanders unmatched flexibility and reach in both conventional and irregular warfare scenarios. The aircraft is expected to deliver the same transformational impact for the Army as the V-22 Osprey did for the Marine Corps, albeit in a more compact, cost-effective package. The MV-75's modular design ensures it is ready for the complexities of modern digital warfare. Its open architecture allows for easy integration of future mission systems, including cutting-edge electronic warfare capabilities, cyber defenses, and navigational tools for GPS-denied environments. The platform has already been tailored to meet the requirements of Special Operations Command, further broadening its utility across a spectrum of mission sets. This next-generation tilt-rotor stands as a cornerstone of the Army's effort to reshape its aviation capabilities for a rapidly changing global security landscape. The MV-75 is not just a prototype, it's a tangible representation of the Army's shift toward faster, more adaptive combat platforms built for the multi-domain battlespace of the future.